viewers welcome back to the channel uh, i want to give you a house update um so we've got the fill dirt spread and we're getting prepped for the slab and one of my tasks was to run the in slab conduit for the electrical so i wanted to kind of show you what i did did two things first we're putting a in-ground outlet in the living room uh in the floor uh just for kind of convenience over by kind of the couches and whatnot and so I've installed an in-ground floor outlet box. And that is connected to some conduit, which runs up to the nearest plumbing wall. And so that'll actually tie in with another outlet over there. And we, this will give us a duplex outlet in the floor. Uh, these boxes are pretty cool. You buy them kind of as a little kit. They've got basically uh, four uh, inlets, outlets on each side and they give you plugs so plug up the ones you don't need in my case i just had the one so uh plugged up the one inch lines and just ran a three quarter and they give you this cover so the concrete doesn't get in there whenever they uh do the slab and ultimately this box is going to sit flush with the slab you can kind of see the form there and this is going to sit flush with the slab and then inside that box you then put a cover uh, that'll hold the receptacle and whatnot and you can see i i ran a pull string in there so we'll be able to fish our wires nice and easy put that back on so we just ran three quarter inch conduit all the way over here and you want to do the nearest plumbing wall mainly to make your concrete guys happy so the less obstacles that they have to uh, run their big floats over to smooth things out the better result you're going to get so in my case you know, I already added an obstacle for them for that floor box, which should be flush, so it shouldn't mess with them too bad. But we want to be nice, and so that is the uh, plumbing vent uh, for the master bath that's already in a wall. And so I will just tie that conduit right there, and that conduit will eventually tie to a electrical box with an outlet and tie into the rest of the system. So pretty easy, you know, conduit, 290s. And that's it and run a pull string in between that way i can fish wires later uh an alternative could be to not use conduit and i think use just uf cable um could have done that i like the idea of conduit better and i already had some thhn wire so i figure just do it that way it's actually cheaper i think than uf uf is really expensive uh second thing kitchen island electric so we saw kitchen island here so this is standing in front of the sink and so i want that electric to stub up kind of right behind those pipes into the kind of the back side of the cabinetry and that will then shoot all the way over to that plumbing wall and this is actually going to be kind of in the corner of the kitchen um a little bit um and that's the as i talked about previous video that is the uh three inch uh waste pipe uh feeding the upstairs and so i just strapped it right to that that'll go inside a wall and i'll have some i'll have a junction box in there to tie into the kitchen circuits uh that's important that's to code if you got a kitchen island it has to tie in to one of the two dedicated kitchen uh 20 amp receptacle branches um so make sure you do that if you're doing kind of the same thing i am um that's really about it we're hoping to get the slab poured. This is the weekend, hoping next week, get the slab poured and we'll keep rocking and rolling. Hopefully get some framing real quick and it's gonna to start to look like a house. That's all I got for now. Thanks for watching.